Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators and this time we're going to take a look at what you're going to get in Alpha Build 6. Now, you may already be aware that you can customise the sky by, say, saying change it to golden or night or any of the skies that you've got sky boxes for. But now you've got a new tab called Visuals. And this tab is expressed not only in the editor but in the test game itself. So if we go back to Terrain Tools and set a new option called None, you'll see we've now got some nice clothes. And if we go into test game, and then back out of our little demo, you'll actually see our clothes are here. If we press tab, tab, we've now got some settings down the side. Now let me just close down all the tabs so you can see everything that's going on. Anyone familiar with Game Guru Classic will remember the tab, tab screen with all the settings. Well, we've improved that using Imgui. Now they're in a nice, neat panel on the right and if we look down we should be able to find under visual settings sky yes it will be sky because we've set it to none and instead of using a sky box we're using real clothes we can actually control those clothes so we've got sky cloudiness so we can make it not very cloudy at all or very cloudy indeed we can bring the sky right down aka quake are really high up for a big vista so we'll put it in the middle and also the speed of the cloud so you can make it go absolutely crazy if you want a moody atmosphere but we're going to go for sensible and of course it goes without saying that you can actually change the various colors that make up how those clouds are ultimately rendered also in visual settings you've actually got control over the sun so let's see where's our sun somewhere over there you can see we've got our sun, we can dial it right down so that the sun has no influence on the scene or it will have a lot of influence. There's other little things like being able to change the uh, the shadow bias but we won't go into details on that and of course the influence of that sun, is it a white sun or is it an orange sun so you can control all those elements. The fog of course so we can bring, we've already got fog nearest right there, we can bring the fog right in, it's almost touching our building and then we can change the color of that flog, fog sorry so we can make it bluer have a green fog but I think we'll go for something nice and and darkish gray so there's a darkish gray fog and of course we've got options as well for changing things like the zenith um, and the horizon color as well and of course down here you've got some more options as was already mentioned you've also got camera settings so you can change the field of view so we set that to a standard um, 35, 45, something like that. But you can change that to whatever you want. And of course, last but not least, is the uh, post-processing, which of course gives you lots of options, many of them exposed by, uh, by the Wicked Engine. So Wicked Engine does it, so why not? Let's Game Guru Max do it as well. One of the coolest ones, the ones that I think is pretty cool, is called Colour Grading. So you can take the map of colours that your scene is using and then map them to a different scale of what those sort of conversion for the colour palette. So if we've just got something called um, three stripe table, we can go to a two stripe one or something a little bit more exotic, let's say we go for candle. So everything's lit, so it's almost lit like a candle scene. Something a bit more drastic again, let's say, is there a chrome? Yeah, there is. So you get a nice black and white effect if you want to have your game like that. Um, or we can just go back to standard rendering without any colour remapping. Um, so you can have a lot, lot of fun with the options available with colour grading. You've got to be able to switch bloom on and off and of course control its strength. Screen space reflections and reflections, ticking reflections off. Um, it won't bother to do those extra renderings that might slow your computer down. But of course with decent graphics cards you can have your rendering switched on. Makes your scene look nicer. You've got uh, FX anti-alias, that's a post-process effect. Um, tessellation, which we'll discuss in a future video. Light shafts on and off, so when you're staring at the sun and there's an obstruction in front of it, and the light shafts, can, light shafts can be toggled on and off. And gamma correction, so this time we've got gamma correction, so you'll notice if we bring it this way, it's very strong, if we do it that way, it's very the opposite. So that's um, too much gamma, let's put that back to normal. Let's say there is good enough. And finally, uh, multi-sample anti-alias, which is currently set to eight. We can set that to one or two or four. Let's put it back to eight, but it's the highest quality anti-alias you can have on your scene. And that replaces the tab-tab view. 
You'll notice on the left hand side again we've replaced the metrics that you'll get before with much more accurate information about what the engine is actually doing and hopefully as it comes to you performance tuning or level all of these individual measurements will come in very handy in getting the best performance at different parts in your level. So as you can see back in the editor the fog is pretty intense but for now we'll keep it like that. I think it's good for an interior scene. See this is the start marker, this is where we'll start. Do you see how that fog affects the distance? That's exactly what we want. But whilst we're in here I want to show you something else that we added. Um, here's our bulb object. So if I go to the entity controls and select entity and go to its properties, there's now this here, the emissive strength. Now before it was defaulting to just one, so it would just be one times the emissive pattern that was given to the surface texture. And there was nothing remarkable about that, but by exceeding the um, maximum value of one, we can now make use of the HDR features of the Wicked Rendering Engine. As you can see, as we give it an extreme amount of strength for the emissive, it's so strong now it's actually kicking the bloom into effect, so you get that nice glowy lamp. So if we come out of that and zoom, where are we going? How do we get out of this room? <laughs> where are we? Okay, I think it's that way. Okay, cool. Zoom and turn around, you'll actually see that that light bulb is nice and glowy. And if we wanted it even more so, again, we just go into the properties and ramp it right up to the top. And something else you'll notice in this scene is the um, the attributes on the walls. You see how we've got some nice reflections because we've set this painted wall to be quite shiny. And again, with the tiled floor, so it's reflecting that light there on that tiled floor. And of course all the other things that helped contribute to the scene. And of course in interior scenes you might want to switch off the sun. And we've got K-Twins for that too. So notice when we switch that down. See that artifact there in the near the ceiling? That's because the sun is sort of breaking through a little bit. Well we can just switch the sun off. And now we're entirely reliant on the lighting that we've added to the scene. So as you can see, there's not much to the cellar demo. There's basically a room and a corridor and a little side room. We'll be expanding that with more logic and of course our zombie, which will be running around that level trying to eat your brain. <laughs> so look forward to that in the future. I hope you like the visuals that we come up with. We've done a little bit of more tweaking to the various surfaces and the controls that you can have over the lighting model of your final game. And hopefully this will be a typical example of the kind of visuals you could expect when you create your own game. So until the next broadcast or video, I'll catch you later. Check out the link below for a great discount on Game Guru Max. Don't forget, next Wednesday we're going to do a live Game Guru Max broadcast. So go to the Game Guru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.